Hey everyone, welcome back to the You Shouldn't Have Said That podcast. I'm up close just to show you my hair that's drying right now. I'll sit back in my seat now. It is 11 p.m. right now, so we're really just gonna enjoy the rest of the night together. You, me, me, them. Let's go for it. You're watching the You Shouldn't Have Said That podcast. Where did that podcast name come from? Obviously, my most popular series, the Buddhist Bridge series. We've got a lot going on today. Okay, from the title, you're probably thinking, what? Let me explain that a little later, that maybe I am more famous than the Pope. I had an unplanned meet and greet in Italy. As always, we're gonna read some of my craziest DMs of the week. I'm gonna give you a recap of my life in case you're nosy like I am. This week's competition was an Italian competition. I didn't give you much, but I got an array of submissions and then I'm going to announce next week's competition, which I think is going to be my favorite of them all. You're not going to want to miss that one. Just remember to submit by DMing me on Instagram. Some newer segments for you, the song of the week, and I'll sing a little bit of it because I am a really good singer actually. Annie wants me to start doing a Gracie's favorites category every week so this week is gonna be my favorite podcast other than this one of course and then just the rest of the news let's get into it am i more famous than the pope i know you've been asking it i've been asking it everybody's been asking me so what happened was i went to italy more on that trip later but i went to the vatican to go see the Sistine Chapel, of course. By the way, you have to walk a long time to get to that Sistine Chapel. Oh my goodness. And when you are in the Sistine Chapel, that's what um, Michelangelo painted up there over many years, and it's like the hands touching, you know the one. But when you're in there, it's just like the whole time, no talking, no photos, no talking, no photos, put your phone away. So this is a no picture area no pictures none and i'm looking up watching the looking at the art and this girl comes up to me she's a little girl it was very cute so she goes are you gracie pa and i'm like yes and then she says can we take a photo i'm thinking um girl no we can't take a photo we're gonna get yelled at this is a no photo area that's what i was thinking but of course i say yeah so like she takes her phone out She, like, puts it up like this, so it's like, okay, everybody's gonna think you're taking a photo of what you're not supposed to take a photo of. And then she, like, takes her selfie, and then she walks away, and it was really cute. And people were like, put your phones away. But you know what I have to say about that? I'm more famous than that. I'm more famous than that. Sure, there were a couple thousand people that didn't take photos with me, but there was one. And in the words of Lady Gaga, as long as there's one. And with this, me and Annie were talking. We were thinking that I need to get into music as every TikToker does. And I think my first hit single would be I'm More Famous Than The Pope. It would be like an emo pop music vibe i think that's what i resonate with i just really want to be an emo pop star you know so i think the plan with that is first i need to come out with like a gag song like something really bad but then come out with a really good one that's what i'm thinking so maybe let's freestyle here i'm more famous than the pope they see me in the vatican they ask for photos my fan base is worldwide italy to dubai Uh, mm. that was horrible i might edit that out okay uh then talking about my fans i do have fans in italy they were like tiktoka tiktoka and i was like hi and i was at the statue of david you know the one with the pp you know the one and (laughs) this i guess like class like group of kids first two of the girls recognized me and they came to take photos with me then i was walking to leave and then this other girl was like her eyes widened and she was like oh my god and then like kind of followed me and then like i stopped because i knew they wanted a photo so i stopped and then like her whole class followed and then it's just like me standing taking pictures with all of them it was like literally like a meet and greet and then this group of boys they were like can we get an alpha photo and i was like oh my god and so we went like ah 
I'll put the video right here. And I think what the girl says is like, she's more famous than anyone on earth. I was like, what? That is so funny. If that's what you said, that's so funny. And it's just like the irony that like we're in front of this statue that like just thousands of people per day come to take photos with. And I'm like standing right in front of it, taking photos with people like it's everything. It's everything. But I love that. And Annie, my sister, our co-host that hasn't been here in months, don't think you're really a co-host. Um, she was walking so far ahead of me that she was like in the gift shop. So when this was all happening, like my mom was there and I was like, get Annie. Like I wanted to video this, but she was like too far. So then I did this and then I get to the gift shop and Annie's like, where did you go? And I was like, girl, I was at my meet and greet. Where were you? And then I showed her the video and she was laughing really hard. Moral of the story, Gracie PA, you will always be famous. This was such a funny moment of me. I was just standing with Annie and I just said like under my breath, I was like, Gracie PA, you will always be famous. <laughs> and she was like, did you just say that about yourself? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh okay now from all these stories do not think i'm some egotistical crazy person i'm joking i'm a normal girl now for my messages of the week i'm gonna start with this one because this person went to my cameo where you can pay to send me messages they spent three dollars to send this dm hey can i buy a cameo video of your feet bruh no you thought i was gonna say yes i said no i'm pretty sure not that i wouldn't but like mm, actually maybe i should have said yes that's like 40 dollars. i said no on second thought what's worse i did the burping cameo what's worse the burping or the feet i don't really know i'm gonna keep thinking about that now i love the duality of my dms because some of them are so positive the other ones are so negative okay here's one you are the most attractive woman i have ever seen and i would fight in world war ii to go on a oh my god i'm sorry that made me burp i would fight in world war ii to go on a date with you we go from that to kills me that you're real kills me that you're real that was a funny comment i think a lot of people think that they see my videos and i'm like a psycho and it's like how do you function in real life but like i do i'm like normal your face when i make sussy baka on you hell nah <laughs> omg our queen has queer parents what else could we ask for i thought that was really funny I don't know guys, I just have it all. Gay parents, I have a twin, I mean triplet, cats, dogs, I don't know what else I have, but yeah. This person in January said, I don't like you one bit. I said good. Then in April, I apologize for bullying you. Gosh, put everyone on this earth for a reason. I'm glad you make me and other laugh. Oh they like reform this is like my reformed cyber bully that means so much gracie lou wait why do you have the same name as me how do you pull off cringe and hot at the same time i don't know i did a youtube video which was like my inner monologue while going through my hinge likes and somebody commented you do realize cats are a huge red flag plus with the level of pickiness you're screwed 50 plus likes and you didn't like one lol old lonely cats see the red flags thing now <laughs> oh my god leave me alone then of course i had to participate in april fool's day so on my story i put hey guys the day has come where i retire from cringe being an alpha just doesn't really resonate with me anymore i need to focus on my insider trading career hope you can understand i got so many people with this so many people swiped up and were just like no oh my god what am i gonna do instagram won't be the same without you please don't stop i love your videos and then all of them, I responded, April Fools with the pointing emoji. And then people were like, oh my god, you got me. Somebody said this. <laughs> this is funny. It's okay, queen. We'll miss the alpha and we'll miss you when you're in jail. Another, OMG, you scared me for a moment. I didn't want to see my favorite alpha content creator turn into a beta. Go Nancy Pelosi, our insider trading queen. Love. And I just love when I'm like cool to my friends friends my friend kaylee has a friend chris and he really likes me and she texted me chris says you're the brain rot pioneer 
positive. And I love that. I put that on my story. Make sure you keep in tune with my Instagram stories. They're actually quite funny. But that's like the greatest compliment I've ever received. Brain rot pioneer. It's just a sassy black guy and it cannot be that bad. Full version of that is in another YouTube video. Thank you. This photo that I put of me holding up the Tower of Pisa, she's super thick, she's super pretty, her body tea. <laughs> you guys are very funny, very funny, thank you. So for the nosy people out there, this segment's for you. This is gonna be just about my life. So I hit 300,000 on Instagram. That was really exciting. It was exactly, maybe exactly 60 days after hitting 200K, so that was really fast. I love that, I love having new Gracie Poos join the fandom and enjoy my videos, that's so sweet. I got a 93 on my drugs and kids exam. Now, if you recall, the last grade I shared with you for another class was a 27 on an exam, so getting a 93 on something else felt good. Oh my god, I'm gonna fart! I don't know if the mic picked that up. So for spring break, I went to Italy for 10 days. It was so, so fun. Ate a lot of pasta, a lot of cheese, a lot of dairy that did horrible things to me, but it's okay. I had a great time. I went to Florence, which is where I was for most of the time. Then a day in Rome, a day in Venice, went to Pisa just for the photo, and went to a town called Luca. I went on a wine tour, even though I absolutely hate wine. They would just pour me like all the glasses and I'd take like the teensiest sip and just be like, I don't really like this. Venice was so fun because we did the gondola ride and our guy was singing. It was just, it was, it was out of a movie. My sister Annie, as you know, is studying abroad in Florence for this semester. So we went to the NYU campus, which is jaw-droppingly beautiful. But the second that we got to Italy, I was like, um, I don't know if I want to study abroad here because that was my plan to study abroad there in one year. So next spring. But then I got there and I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to study abroad here. I don't know if I want to study abroad at all. So I'm still thinking about it. It's a maybe. <laughs> oh my god. I'm what the heck? Please be quiet, I'm filming. Oh my god. So getting to Florence, of course, is like a huge travel day. And then we get there, and I'm there. My bag's not. This was so frustrating. I didn't have my bag for four days. So I was wearing my mom's clothes. Um, and I didn't have any of my skincare, so my skin was just like, ick no makeup, no nothing. I had to be in Florence, just be like, you know that TikTok sound? No, 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 I'm a boss, I'm a boss, I'm a boss. Like guys, I swear I don't dress like this usually. Ugh. Also, when we went to Rome, I was so into the Colosseum, just like imagining back in the days, going to see like some fight, like, oh my God, that's so cool. And I was reading, I like to read every single thing that it says. And I was pulled away by my family because we needed to go see the other stuff. Like we went to the Trevi Fountain, which was really cool. And then I saw Addison Ray had been there like a few days prior. I'm just living that life. For the day that we went to Luca, we hired a driver. His name was Donatello. He was, he was everything. He was everything. And just out of the kindness of his heart, took us to Pisa, like went out of his way to do that, which was so nice just for us to get our little photo. Now I did an Instagram post. Oh, these photos are everything. This was done in a hotel, a super cool hotel. The dress, the gloves, the glam. Go like that on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm just like obsessed with that. Pinned it to my profile, love. My new little side hustle, because I love a good side hustle, is renting my clothes. So if you're in New York City and you want to wear some of my clothes, my clothes is on pickle, you should do that. My current fixation right now is eggs and hash browns. I've been having that really, really, really frequently for dinner, like a couple nights in a row sometimes. It's just so good. I take my hash browns, I do three eggs, then put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder over everything, serve it with ketchup. It's so good, and I'm a creature of habit, so when I find something I like, I just can't stop eating it. 
My friend Paige spontaneously came for a weekend and we had so much fun. The first day she was here, I took her to my scholarship programs bowling. She showed up, the people were like, who are you? But it was chill. It was very fun. Oh my God, the bowling. Guys, I won both games, like 118 points. <sighs> Who can beat me? Who can beat me? Like, I was so on. It was so fun. Then me and Paige were little, like, fat, fat fatties, and we ordered 7th Street Burger, which was really good, and then we were like, should we get something sweet? So then we also ordered crepes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So on TikTok, I saw this salon in Chinatown called Mian Tian Sing Salon, where you can get a blowout for $35, which by the way, for hair, that's really good. If you go to someplace like Dry Bar, it's like $80. It's ridiculous. So we went there. The wait was three hours long. So we just went shopping, did our own thing. We did end up sitting there for an hour because they told us two hours. So then we came back and it was still another hour. But they massage your head for like 20 minutes and it feels so good. Oh my God. And then the blowout is so nice and it's just so cheap. I need to keep going there and going there they gave me a punch card they were like did you see us on tiktok and i was like yes i did yes i did so maybe i'm a murderer i killed lena annie's plant lena i killed her by accidente it was not intentional i was trying to keep this a secret because i am planning on reviving her resuscitating her so annie texts Paige to send her a photo of Lena. She texts Paige, Gracie refuses to send a picture of my plant Lena. Can you see if she's okay? Yeah, what she looked like. I'll find her, give her some love. Annie said, she's a teeny tiny succulent, only plant in the apartment likely. And then Paige sends her a photo while I'm in the bathroom. Paige, bad girl. And Annie says, shout out to my whistleblower. <laughs> this is Lena before. And this is Lena now. She texted me and said, you're a murderer. I said, where did you find that? She said, I told Paige to look for her. It was an accident. More like manslaughter than murder, by the way. One second she was alive, one second she wasn't. I think, TBH, I know what happened. I think I she didn't get any sunlight for a long time because I watered her in the sink and then I just put it on the sink and then she sat there for a long time. I'm sorry, Lena. I still think I can resuscitate her. Have you guys seen on TikTok pop-up bagels? Because I had that. Me and Paige went. Paige ate Joe and the Juice and I got that. Three bagels, three different smears. This cream brulee butter, oh my god, was so good. And then I ate all three bagels and Paige was like, did you eat them all? And I was like, yeah. Was I not supposed to? She was like, that could have been your breakfast tomorrow. I was like, no, I got to eat all those bagels. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I had to work a little job at school and this job entailed me doing one task like every hour and it was just walking somebody from one room to another. It was a very silly job, but I liked, I liked it. I liked who I was working with. We watched more on Jojo Siwa a little bit later because she's one of our big topics today, but me and some other students watched her music video, which was really funny. I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I went to the Olivia Rodrigo Guts bus to get some merch. And while I was there, this humongous blow up of Ice Spice on a truck drove by. Everybody took out their photos. I put that on my story. That was my most viewed Instagram story. Almost 70,000 views. I was like, oh my God. And I met a fan when I was there. I think she was like really excited because she like couldn't say much. And then the day before, I had scratched my eye, like, while watching my, washing my face, like, with my own nail. And then she was like, your eye is bleeding. And I was like, no, nah. It's like, not. That was from yesterday, lol. But that was nice to meet you. Then this weekend, I went on a run, guys. I don't know how I let this happen, but I have not run since December. So I went to Central Park and I ran 5.8 miles. Yeah, I did. It was pretty fun. It's like miserable, but like it's more fun than miserable. So like I got I got to keep doing that so I can run a marathon or something. Now, if you're watching this, you deserve to know a little secret, but I'm working on my merch and like maybe it'll low-key be coming out soon. Also, if you're in my broadcast channel 
on Instagram. I'm going to drop it to you guys first, probably with a discount. So make sure you're in that. I think that has like 5,000 people. Really cool. Thank you for my Gracie Poos that are in there. I love you. I got another package from YSL Beauty, which was super exciting. Oh my God, that makes me feel so influencer, so special. Thank you. Now I have a bone to pick with the world because... Not only did I miss the earthquake, I missed the eclipse. I missed everything cool. For the earthquake, I just didn't feel anything. And for the eclipse, I was inside studying for like seven hours in the library. I just looked out the window and looked at everybody watching. And I was like, I want that to be me so bad. But I didn't have glasses anyways. For the earthquake, I did feel some tremors a couple hours later, which was kind of cool. I was like, either this is part of the earthquake or it's just my neighbors. I don't know. And the eclipse, like I really should have went out there and looked. I needed to get the glasses, but I was like, this won't happen again for another 20 years. So I kind of missed my shot there. Now, what was I studying for? Okay, now we're talking about the class where I got the 27. So now I studied a lot for this midterm. So I'm really hoping I, I didn't do well because this class is freaking hard and I only studied for one day, but I studied this time. So I'm shooting, let's do a guess, and then I'll reveal my grade to you when I get it back, probably in a couple weeks. I'm going to say that I got a 55 on this one. That would be good, actually. That would be a significant improvement. Then yesterday, I had such a nice day. I had that exam, and then I sat in the park just by myself, Washington Square Park, for two and a half hours and just watched the skaters skate. I am obsessed with watching that. That is just like the most at peace feeling ever it's like meditative I'm learning about meditation in my science of happiness class it is meditation to sit there and just like watch them my phone was dead I was totally clocked out from the world it was very nice then I worked out with my friend Dylan and we had so much fun working out I'm getting back into my fit era you know the vibes and just been working out a bit more I need to make some fitness content that'd be fun maybe I don't know okay we are to the Italian competition, and we're going to listen to your incredible submissions here. Starting off strong with Haley. Caccio e Pepe. Caccio e Pepe. This is Ibrahim. Oh, mamma mia, the pizza is sauce. The pizza is sauce. Oh, mamma mia, where's the pasta? Where's the pasta? It's right up my ass, my new alpha. <laughs> that was really good. Mamma mia. This is AJ. <clears throat> this is for the um, podcast. Pizza, pasta. Is noodles Italian? No, I'm not even sure. It's noodles Italian. Right. Okay. Bonjour. No, that's French. Pizza. 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 Yeah. Pizza and pasta. Yeah. Pesto. Pesto's nice. I like pesto. Okay. That was some. That was something. This is Luo. Mamma mia, I come here to play you a song, but I forgot my guitar at the pizzeria. Mamma mia, so I will play it for you with my with my mouth. Get that ready. Let's go. <coughs> really good i noticed from when i was in italy everything's um uh, what uh, do you wanna do uh, today uh? <laughs> that was really good thank you okay this next one is eden i wouldn't consider this funny but i just want to like say like when i was 13 i went to italy and in italy i fucking dude <laughs> don't mog me just help me skibbity away from toilet. I need a place to mew where I can <laughs> cover up my gut. Don't riz. I am just a gut. 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 Wow, I don't even know what to say to that. That was so Italian. Don't mug me. That was really good. This one is from Solar Flight. Hello, 
Your favorite rapper, Solar Flight, has been trapped in Italia for my rap performance, so I have to do quite the not so good Italian accent. I want to recommend going to Milano, Roma, Turin, Lago di Garda for holiday. Grazie. Okay, I went to Roma. This is Abby. Hey, you also funny stories about Italian people. So me and my family went to Italy last year <laughs> and we we're just British tourists, okay? We don't really know what's going on. But my dad and uncle got in the queue to like pay for the car park. But they didn't they didn't know there was a queue. So they just went straight to the front and went to go use it and all these people started shouting at them in Italian and I mean screaming at them. And then we were all just stood there like, Why are we being shouted at? What have we done? And eventually like someone else says, There's a queue and we're like, Oh, oh we're so sorry. And we just like did that like, little walk of shame to the back of the queue with all these Italian people scoffing at us. Oh, the Italians hated you, Abby. Oof. Ugh. I would, I would hate to be you in that situation. This is Kate, very frequent submitter. She's been hitting me with many voice memos. Kate, we, we gotta pull this down to like one, okay? We need some organization. My mom snapped her spaghetti in half, and I haven't seen her since. I think she was adopted. Adopted. Abducted by Ita aliens. Why do Italians consume so much water? Why? I don't know either. Bruh, bruh. Someone snapped me in half. No, no, I meant like it was an Italian. What does that mean? Okay, now it's my cousin's turn. Okay, cousin. Tell your joke about your 69 mouthwash thing. Okay, what comes after 69? What? A mouthwash. Lovely. Ja, ja, ja. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, <laughs> this is JJ. Mamma mia, very spicy uh, meatball and uh, a little bit of mafia stuff and uh, Boston. Yeah. Alcoholic fathers. Yeah. Some raisins. I think Italians like raisins. Raisins? Uh, Chinese food at family events that don't need Chinese food. Thank you, JJ. Okay, that was the last submission. Thank you for all of these Italian submissions. You guys are creative. Let me decipher with other Gracie on who should win. And the results are in. Our winner is, drumroll please, da -da 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 -da, Ibrahim. Let's listen to it again. Oh, mamma mia, the pizza and sauce. The pizza and sauce. Oh, mamma mia, where's the pasta? Where's the pasta? <laughs> it's right up my ass, my alpha. Oh my god. Mamma mia! That was really good. Really funny. Okay, guys. Now, this competition for next week, I think it's going to be my favorite that we've ever done. It is Jojo Siwa Week. You can do anything Jojo Siwa related. Um, her new song, her new dance, any of her catchphrases, anything you want. You can do a voice memo or a video. You just DM me on Instagram at gracie.pa. And if it's funny, you'll be on this. I haven't not put anybody on here yet. But if we ever get too many, I'll have to cut it. But you know what to do. Please me, please. Now, I'm going to do a little song of the week just to give you guys some new music on your radar. Okay, you know Ash Nico? Okay, her song Worms. I've been listening to that so much. The world is burning, I got worms in my brain, gonna bleach my eyebrows, change my name. The world is burning and I laugh at the blaze. It's catchy AF. You should go listen to it. Why'd I kind of eat that? I need to do more singing videos. Now, what are my favorite podcasts? This is the segment Gracie's Favorites. Annie thinks this is a good idea. Let us know down below. My podcast that I watch, other than the You Shouldn't Have Said That podcast, of course. And make sure you're following the Instagram for this uh, podcast so you can get all the highlights. The one that I watch the most is Just Trish, and I'm also producer level. So I'm going to be making videos where I open up my packages from her every month. I love Just Trish, so that's my main one i like i try to consume all of that then i also watch jeff fm and canceled i haven't watched canceled in a while guys but i've been watching jeff fm a bit more there are podcasts that i like that you know like i used to watch h3 a lot and then you know you just 
find other things that it's just hard with timing like I wish I could watch everything I wish I could watch everything H3 puts out I wish I could watch everything just Trish Tana Jeff I wish I could watch it all but I can't unfortunately so if you want to know my number one it's just Trish you guys should watch that now we're into the hot topics of the week I want to talk about this TikTok Riz party this is one of the funniest moments on the internet to me imagine being one of these kids just having fun at like a dance or a birthday party or whatever they were at and the internet taking it and running with it like this like group leader and turkish quandale dingle the edits the edits are so funny so funny like in what world am i seeing two kids dancing at a party edited to night shift by lucy dacus what you've got a nine to five so i'll take the night shift like there's no way edited to mitski songs please so funny so funny and it seems like they're handling it well like the two boys are making videos together like it's just crazy like what do people at school say after you go viral like that like so viral so funny now we can talk about my girl jojo siwa this karma song i was a bad girl i mean it's catchy i'll give you that like it's actually catchy but it's like i can't really listen to it like i can't play that song because my neighbors will be like what i can't listen to that in my airpods because what if they accidentally disconnected and people heard that i was listening to that Ugh, it's too catchy for its own good now jojo this music video her rebrand is just weird if you want to be an adult, like, do adult stuff. Like, what you just did is not, like, the vibe you're trying to give. I don't know. Watch the music video. She likes to hump stuff. I get why people say she needs to be neutered. Now, I, ca I made a, um, <coughs> sorry, Jojo. I made a video on TikTok that got a lot of views because I saw this video of her on a podcast saying that she likes to be choked. And then I made a video like, oh, my God. Jojo Siwa just said she likes to be choked. Just the things that come out of her mouth are wild. I saw that she just went on Call Her Daddy. I'm definitely gonna watch that. Oh, that's another podcast. I like it for the interviews. So I need to see what Alex Cooper was saying to her. The dance is so funny. Like, I love it. I love it. I like when she was at one of her release parties or something and she said... The internet's saying that I'm really psychotic, but, like, only I could do this. And I was like, yeah, like, only you could do this. So I guess that's kind of fun. And I love that she's entertaining, but I do think it's good to remind ourselves that she is probably, like, a low-key bad person. Like, why are you still friends with James Charles and Colleen Bollinger and Tom Sandoval? Like, it's weird. You're weird. You're weird. So let's not forget, she's weird. Gypsy Rose, clearly the D was not fire after all because she's getting a divorce from Ryan. What? 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 Poor guy. Poor girl. And then she's pictured with her ex getting matching tattoos with her ex. I cannot wait to see this Gypsy Rose makeover. She started first with a nose job. I am so intrigued to see how this all plays out and she She's filming a TV show right now, so I'll definitely watch that. I haven't watched any of her docu-series or whatever it was on Lifetime. I need to watch that. Guys, I'm so tired. It's almost midnight. There's going to be a Cat in the Hat remake. I am very intrigued for this. Bill Hader, Quinta Brunson, Bowen Yang, and Zochi Gomez. Interesting, interesting. Now, Caitlyn Jenner and Lamar Odom have launched a podcast together titled Keeping Up With Sports. Clever name there. Interesting duo. I heard about them announcing this, but I haven't heard anything else from it. So, like, is it out? Is it good? I'm curious. Rachel Sennett will star in Right and executive produce her own comedy series for HBO. Annie wrote all caps, let's go. This is interesting. This is like, was it just called Ra Rachel Dunham? Her thing, somebody said it's like the exact same vibe. I'm very intrigued for this. I really like Rachel. Mm, 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 mm. Give me that show. Give it to me. Travis Kelsey is in the talks to host Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Reboot on Prime Video. 
People question if he himself is smart than a fifth grader. Oh my god, Annie. Um, that's an interesting role for him to take. Very interesting. Margot Robbie is reportedly producing a film adaption of The Sims. Please put me in that movie. Please put me in that movie. I was addicted to Sims. I feel like I would be such a good Sim. I'm telling you. When's my acting debut? Ah, when's my acting debut? Ha! Ah. Normani has finally announced her first single that will come out at the end of April called 159. So we actually have music coming from her. We actually are getting music. I'm so interested to hear. It better be good. She must be working on it for a really long time. Suki Waterhouse and Robert Pattison welcomed their first child. Suki Waterhouse's music is really good. Oh my god, take me back the way that I was. And her song Joanna, oh, she's, she's pretty good. And she's with Robert Pattison. What a power couple. This baby is gonna be so cute. Okay, Ashley Tisdale announced that she's pregnant with her second child. Do we care? No offense. Is it that relevant? I'm sorry. McDonald's will start selling Krispy Kreme donuts by the end of 2026. Annie said so random. That is really random, but I'm so down for it. Krispy Kreme. I don't really go to McDonald's. I don't go to Krispy Kreme, but I'm here for it because I like Krispy Kreme. Oh, you know what I'll do? Okay, when that happens, I will go to McDonald's and I'll make like a chicken nugget sandwich with a Krispy Kreme bun. <gasps> And then I'll do a mukbang. That sounds really good. Production has begun on the fifth and final season of You. Annie, you really need to watch the fourth season. So it's being filmed in New York. And one of my friends had it filming outside her building. So that's pretty cool. I would love to see the filming of that. Or like put me in the back as an extra, please. The filming for Euphoria 3 has been put on hold. Apparently Sam Levinson has not finished writing the scripts even though... It's literally for eight episodes and he's had three years. That's crazy. Just give it to us. I like everything that says like the actors are too famous for this now. Like get them while you can. Beyonce put out her new album with collabs from Miley Cyrus, Dolly Parton, Post Malone. Annie says her favorite songs are Bodyguard, Tyrant, and Levi's Jeans. Okay, I haven't listened to all of them. But I really like her rendition of Jolene. Baby, we do not want your man. We do not want your man. Ah, keep him away. Do ya? The new movie, Kinds of Kindness, has released its first trailer with Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, Margaret Qualley, Hunter Schaefer, and Jesse Plemons. Stacked cast. Okay, my B, I I have not gone to look at this trailer, but that's the movie. I already love it. I can already tell I love it. Hunter Schaefer revealed in an interview that she dated Rosalia for five months in 2019. Okay, giving us the tea like five years later. That's fun. And the first poster for Joker, Folia Du, has been released along with the trailer. I grazed the trailer. I'm not a big fan of trailers. I like going into the movie just not really knowing anything and experiencing it all for the first time. Taylor Swift has officially joined Forbes' billionaire list, becoming the first person to do it from music and performing alone. I want to be the first person to become a billionaire from burping and farting alone. Is that too much to ask? Sabrina Carpenter did a campaign for Skims. This look was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed. Marina announced her debut poetry book, Eat the World. Ooh. Now, I do not have any poetry books. I need Lana's. And I would get this one too. I love Marina. Doja Cat released the deluxe version of her album called Scarlet 2 Claude Frollo. I was listening to some of it. I like the song Loser. Okay, Loser. That one's fun. And Charlie XCX unveiled the Brat tracklist. And the album is going to come out June 7th. I'm so excited for that. And she released the songs Club Classics and B2B. But hey, Annie, I, have, I didn't know that. I haven't listened to them. Mabby. And I'm thinking like in the past we've done movie reviews. So on the plane ride, I watched Theater Camp, which was extremely funny. I definitely recommend that for you to watch. And then I watched this other movie called Tenant, and I've I have 20 minutes left, so I don't know the ending. But that movie, it was just it was an oddball movie. So many people were watching Oppenheimer, including both my parents. Julie was like, "That was really really good," and then Anne was like, "That sucked." I was like, "What the heck?" But so many people were watching it because it's like 
such a long movie that you'd probably never want to turn on in your living room but while you're on a plane and you know you're not going anywhere it's the perfect thing to watch if you made it this far i need you to comment the sleepy emoji thank you thank you so much for watching this was a long podcast you guys deserved it because i've been giving you tiny ones it's midnight now i'm gonna go to bed do i even need to say all the things you need to do like subscribe comment follow me on every platform thank you good night okay <laughs>